A dip is a compound push exercise which works a large number of muscles in your upper body at the same time. Dips are also a little bit controversial because they can affect your shoulders in a bad way if you don't adapt your body to it step by step. When you lower yourself down, your arms go backwards and this can put a lot of stress on your shoulders. But like many other exercises, it depends on how you execute it and prepare yourself for it. To execute it right, you should avoid these mistakes. Let's start with the correct starting position. Push your shoulder blades down to get the necessary tension. You should also take an eye on your elbow position. Extend your arms but don't overextend them. Avoid a resting position on your joint and keep the tension. The next mistake is any kind of half wrapping. When doing parallel bar dips you want to achieve a minimum of 90 degrees of flexion in your elbows. Of course you also can go deeper if your shoulder is mobile enough. But you should not force it, because if you lack in mobility and experience, it's possible that you injure yourself in the short or the long term. You should also take an eye on your spine movement. Some people lean their upper body forward and bend their spine when they go up and down. This will also decrease the range of motion in your shoulder joint. When we take a look on our elbows, we should avoid excessive outflared elbows when we do them on parallel bars. The elbows point more backwards than outwards. The last mistake is any kind of kipping and swinging. Use strength for your dips, not momentum. When it comes to the body position, you can execute dips in different ways to affect some muscles more than others. To do a chest dip, you can lean yourself a little bit forward and also bring your legs forward. You should also flare your elbows a little bit outwards, but don't do it too excessively. Try to squeeze your hand together at the top to target your chest in an optimal way. If you want to do a triceps dip, aim for an upright torso. Your legs should be under or in front of your hips. The elbows are pointing backwards and are close to your body. It's also possible to do a shoulder dip. Therefore, you should lean your body forward as a complete unit. Your whole body gets out of the vertical line. The more you lean yourself forward, the harder this move gets. Your elbows are pointing backwards and are close to your body. Like every other upper body movement, we should also take a look on the shoulder blade movement. When you start in the top position, the shoulder blades are pushed downward and slightly forward or neutral. When you go down, you bring your shoulder blades together and keep them pushed down as good as possible. When you push yourself up, you go back into the starting position. Of course, this also depends on the specific variation of the dip and your body position as well. Until now we are only talking about parallel bar dips, but there are also other ways to do it. You can also do them on a single bar or on rings. When you do it on a single bar, you have to lean yourself and also bring your legs forward. In this case, you get into the right center of gravity for that movement. When we talk about rings, we are more flexible. Rings can move independently, so you can do different versions of the exercise. Of course, it's harder to stabilize the movement, but the benefit is that you can rotate the rings or push them together. With this freedom, you can adapt the movement better to your goals. So for the most possibilities with dips, you should choose rings. But keep in mind that ring dips are harder than bar dips, because you also have to stabilize the wobbly rings. That's great for your coordination and strength, but bad for your reps. It's also not the right tool to start with. So when you're new to dips, then start with an easier progression and work your way up until you can do them on rings. For further questions, just leave a comment. Thanks, Alex.